Hi, uh, it's me. It's been a minute. I guess I want to start just by saying thanks for 10K because that's crazy. And unfortunately, I wasn't really around on the channel uh, when that happened. So I didn't really get a chance to say thanks for that. So thanks for that. So three weeks ago, I asked for some questions. It's taken me three weeks. It's the kind of thing where I've thought about coming back and making videos and then when I did try to do that it was just an epic fail all around. Maybe I'll insert a clip. And I'm wearing the same shirt by the way. I'm wearing the same exact shirt when I tried to make this video. So uh, yeah, watch my epic fail. I've completely forgotten how to do this. Not that I was great at it anyway, but it's been, it's been a while. So yeah. I mean, is that fair to say? Do you even know what I'm asking? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just so... It's been too long. I took way too long of a break. I'm trying. But, ooh. This is a rough one. This is a rough video. This was a bad idea today. <laughs> Making video. I should have done, like, a practice video just for myself. So I don't know if I'm actually going to edit those and post those, but that might be all you ever see of them. So let me just get right into the questions. Thank you for asking me questions. I haven't looked at them. Usually I look at them ahead of time and sort of think about what my answer is going to be. You're going to have a, a moment to shine here. Okay, first one from Cap Stevens, 2876. No questions, just happy you're coming back. Well, thank you. Of course, when you posted that, you probably thought I was coming right back. Hey, better late than never. Zombie SpongeBob, thanks for the ditto. Drummer3162. So wonderful to see you back. You have been missed, thank you. Three questions, at least. There's a read more here. Yeah, three questions. Number one, what band has impacted you the most since you started your channel and why? I think I would have to say Slipknot for this just because that was the biggest, um, sort of shock as far as not being what I expected them to be. Of course, I could say that about almost all the bands that I've done, but I think I'd have to give the edge to Slipknot just for being sort of, like breaking down uh, the stereotype, looking at them versus really getting into them because they just, I've talked about this at length, numerous videos, but they just have such a harsh exterior. And I think when you just look at them, you have a certain opinion about them, but when you really get into their stuff, you realize, oh, like there's a lot more going on here than just a lot of anger and profanity. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to, I, I'd go with Slipknot for that. Is there a song you've listened to that you really didn't connect with? And if so, why? There's been several, uh, several songs I've done that I've never listened to ever again. Um, you could probably guess which ones. I think because I'm honest in my videos and I don't sit here and tell you I like something if I don't, that it's easy to see which, like, if I said I didn't like the song, then that would be one. Just thinking back to the last few videos I've made, that Electric Cowboy one. That's just, that's a hard pass. <laughs> just to throw that under the bus again. But yeah, there have been a few. There have definitely been a few. Number three, do you really like coffee, or has that always been an elaborate ruse to go along with a clever channel name? I started drinking coffee back in college. When I started drinking coffee, though, it was mostly, like, cappuccinos that had crap ton of sugar in them and like a little bit of coffee and I would add like a lot of creamer when I started drinking coffee. I still add probably more creamer than the average person. I'm drinking coffee right now actually. I want to show you my new mug and you can see how full this is. The problem is that this mug is smaller than the mugs I'm used to using and so I don't have a lot of room, <laughs> room for creamer. I have to turn my whole body, turn the whole chair. It says bloom where you were planted. But yeah, I'm gonna have to drink some of this down so I can add more creamer to it. Because that's just not, no. That's, no. Next question, Die Pet Rod. I've been saying your name wrong probably four years. I've been thinking about you and the channel for these past two days, wondering a new post or video was about to come and here it is. Well, isn't that just fate? How has your life been? What are some of your hobbies and skills? <laughs> well, that'll be a short answer. Um, my life has been like, I've had some really amazing experiences since I've seen you last. 
this being one of them, the most expensive shirt I own now. I'm assuming not everyone watching this knows, but maybe you do, that I lost my mom in February and that's where I've been. I thought I would come back much sooner than this, to be honest, but I realized that I had just ignored so much of my life during all of that, um, that I had to sort of devote my time to my real job that I had sort of just ignored for a while, like I said, and making videos for that. <laughs> I'm a teacher, that's the job, it is. You know, you make videos all day for the teaching stuff, you don't really want to make any other videos. So I was sort of burnt out with the video thing. But then just like mentally, um, and as you can see when I tried to make those other videos that I showed you clips of, I just realized that like I'm just not ready to come back. I'm not in it. So I'm not saying that I'm in it yet. Like this is a totally other kind of video doing something like this. Like I can sit and just talk. I'm using this video to sort of jumpstart that and hopefully I can get back into making videos because I do miss it. That's where I've been. And my life has just been... Uh, I mean, I don't know if anyone has lost a parent. I'm sure some of you have. Um, it sucks. <laughs> it's just the worst. It's just the worst. And I'm actually doing worse now than when it happened. Um, I don't want to turn this into a therapy session, but I'll just say it's worse now because, or it's harder now because it's like I've realized how finite it is. Because at the beginning, like when it first happened, um, it just sort of felt like my mom was in the hospital um, because that wasn't unusual for her to be in the hospital and to spend days in the hospital. So for a while there, it just felt like she's at the hospital and she's coming back. But now that it's been a few months, this was the end of February. So now that it's July 1st, it's like, oh, you know, she's not, she's not coming back. I don't, like people say it gets easier with time. And I just respectfully disagree. I don't think it will ever be easier. I think 10 years from now, it's going to hurt exactly the same as it does right now, um, which is sort of a bleak way to look at it. But it's just, I don't, it's just never going to be the same again, you know? And it's just one of those things you don't really accept it. You just deal with it. Like it's just your new reality. And that's just, it's just your life now, you know? So that's, that's that. I don't want to, I don't want to start crying on the video, so I'm going to move on. So your other question, some of your hobbies and skills, um, I'm sure I have skills, but I don't know what they are. I'm into, uh, gardening, although I didn't, I usually plant pumpkins every year in my backyard. I didn't do that this year. I just didn't feel like it. And I usually have a little garden, some vegetables. I didn't do any of that, but just flowers, you know, I have some, uh, flowers and uh, some indoor plants too. Pretty sad when you don't know what your hobbies are. I mean, making videos used to be a hobby, I guess, and like editing them. My cat is a hobby, I guess. Here she comes. <laughs> da 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 da. Mocha, everyone. Sniffing my coffee. You can't have this. Sorry, you can't have this. She's, she's probably gonna, she's been laying like right here where I need to be. <laughs> so I just have to move stuff around. She's got to get, com are you going to sit on that? I'm going to have this, Jimmy. She's been here 10 minutes ago. I think Jimmy's actually for real. The guy who wants to be in prison. She's moving on. I've added more creamer to the coffee. This is dangerous. Miss Dillinger won. Will your love for Pinhead ever be replaced? No, never. 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 Pinhead is the goat. Craig Jones is the goat. I don't often rewatch my videos because that's just kind of strange. I did rewatch a video that I made about Pinhead and I just sort of remembered how much I love Pinhead. <laughs> Those were the days. I hope he's doing well. Pinhead, if you're watching this, you're the goat. I love you. I'm glad to see you getting into the groove again. I hopefully, uh, I'm hopefully getting into the groove again. That's the plan. Thank you for your question. A carm. A carm. 5,000. Welcome back, you were missed, thank you. It feels good to be missed, like I, it's it's a strange sort of feeling. Because on the one hand, I just think like, no one really cares. 
that I've been gone. There are so many other people you can watch on YouTube, you know, that who really cares? And I also thought that it's been so long since I've been, um, you know, posting new stuff that, that you all have forgotten me. So it's really nice. It's really humbling to see these kind of messages. So thank you for doing that. Everything connected. I've just stumbled upon your YouTube channel, watching your reaction to the Smiths and love the observations and commentary. I do love the Smiths. In my hiatus, I've been listening to the Smiths probably more than any other band, as far as these bands. I've listened to a lot of Ben Gibbard, actually. This is fact, not fiction. For the first time in years. As far as the bands I do, the Smiths have been like at the top. Would love to see or hear your thoughts about the band The Church Blurred Crusade album and 1986's XTC Skylarking. No promises, but okay. I have a form if you want to stick that in the form. I'll put a link if I remember in the in a comment or something for uh, requests. Morla Kruak, if you could change one or two things about this planet, on this planet, what would it be? Me personally, I would end all telemarketers and politicians. I, I just wish everyone could be nice to people. All the hate for no reason, it's just stupid. People that just look down on other people because they're different for whatever reason, or they don't share the same values as you, and so you just hate on them. Like, who cares? They're not bothering you. Get over it. For one, I just wish everyone could be nice to everyone. And I guess just for a funny answer, I would get rid of mosquitoes because you could make an argument that they are food for other bugs, but I don't know of any bugs that feed exclusively on mosquitoes. So I think you could get rid of them and these bugs that do eat mosquitoes will just get their nutrients from other things. You all right? Everyone be nice. Let's get rid of mosquitoes. Even though that doesn't sound very nice. Mocha, could you just decide what you're doing? Cause you're driving me nuts. Just like pacing. She's pacing. Lay down, dude. Just lay down, please. Are you gonna lay down? Yeah, there we go. She's gonna lay down. She's laying down on my cord though. Stolen Trevin. Stolen Trevin? I hate when my Trevin is stolen. Trevin? Stolen Trev. Trev. Will you ever listen to more Mudvade? Yes. Most likely. I'm having a hard time listening to the angry stuff lately. I'm just not really connecting with the angry sound much these days. And so that's why I haven't been, been listening to Mudvayne or Slipknot. But I do enjoy Mudvayne and they're another one of those bands. Like for a question I had earlier where I said Slipknot for the answer, I could easily have said Mudvayne for that answer too because they're definitely more than what they look like. One day, but they're not on my radar as far as like, I gotta do a Mudvayne video ASAP. Rebel Robot 01. Good to see you back, thank you. Will you be going through the songs people submitted to your Google form? Okay, I was hoping someone asked about this. I made a form just so I could keep track of all these suggestions because they're all just like randomly told to me in comments and whatever. So I made this form. That's where the Electric Callboy video came from. I did another video that I haven't posted and I just realized I didn't post this one, but it was for um, Trivium. So again, I'll look for the Google form link either in the description of this video or in a pinned comment and you can add a song and then maybe one day in the next five years, I'll get to it. Mr. G Monkey will rule you. Need more videos, more typo tool and Faith No More. I haven't done Faith No More that I recall. Are they the epic people? <laughs> and I don't mean they're epic, I just mean they did the, the song called Epic. Is that them? Epic? I sure hope that's right. Typo, it's funny you mentioned typo because I did Nettie back in probably February, maybe March, but that one's done. I just have to uh, post it. And then more tool, yes, there will be more tool. I'm actually going to be posting um, tool footage because I saw them, that's where I got the shirt. Um, and I, you're allowed to tape one song, tape, how old am I? Record on your phone, one, the, the encore. So I did that and I'm going to post it. When I say I'm going to post something soon, soon just means like in the next six months. Okay, next one. 
Melvin, if you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? That's a loaded question. A lot of things. A lot of things. To avoid getting emotional, I'm just going to say spend more time with things that matter and people that matter. Yes. You just think you have time. You know, you think you have all the time. And then one day you don't. I think that's just some quality advice for everyone. And it's one of those things like you probably have heard that advice before, I'm sure. But just uh, take it from me. <laughs> because one day you're going to wake up and things are just going to be different. And then you're going to have all these regrets and think I should have done. I should have. Spend time with people because um, even though you think they're always going to be there, one day they're not going to be there. So, thanks. <laughs> thanks for your question. Okay, Linda Coy, 7165. Hey, are you going to do another video with your brother? Um, I haven't thought about that. He hasn't brought it up, so I don't think he's really dying to do that, but never say never, I guess. It's possible, maybe, but I have no plans to do that. Zombie SpongeBob, 6903. First of all, hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm hanging in there, I guess. I know you've had a mind-bending few months. That's, that's to put it lightly. Have you been to any shows? Will you try and see Breaking Benjamin and Stained tour this fall? No. I saw Breaking Benjamin... When was that? Last September? Or the September before last? Time is just really... Like, I, I don't even know what year it is. I saw Breaking Benjamin when they were with uh, Disturbed. That was the last time I saw them. So whenever that was. Have you listened to any viral rock metal songs that have popped up recently? No. I've been listening to a lot of The Smiths and a lot of Ben Gibbard lately. That's sort of been my go-to music these days. I actually saw Tool twice. I will insert some, some uh, stuff here. But like I said, I'm going to post this entire video, but here's just a little... Just uh, while I'm talking, I guess I'm showing you this. I went to the Sasanta tour also because if you didn't know, my boyfriend is Maynard's number one fan. And so if Maynard is involved, he just has to attend. And so I also attend. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And I was really close. I've never been that close to any sh at any show ever and I'm going to be posting the entire video of this also. Even though it's been months now and nobody cares anymore, I'm still going to post them because why not? And I had to buy a shirt even though this I've never spent this much money on a t-shirt before. It was probably made in China for five cents. Anyways, thank you for the questions. I'm going to move on now. Oh, wait. Did you ask me something else? You did. Oh, you asked me a lot of things. Okay. Have you traveled or been out of your neck of the woods? Is this like ever or in since you have seen me last? Because yes to both of those. I talked about where I've traveled in, my, in a previous Q&A. So I'm not going to rehash all that. I've been to a few states, a few of the states, and I've been to Ireland and England and Canada. So yes, I've traveled. Since you've seen me, I've been to Texas. Where? Honest. Listen, I'll prove it. The stars at night are big and bright. Big in the heart of Texas. <laughs> Are you ready for Slipknot version 10.0? There may be some changes, but I'm still a maggot. No. Ever since Pinhead left the band, it's just not been the same. I don't deal with change well. I've always hated when things change. I mean, I know they're still Slipknot, but are they really? Can you call Slipknot Slipknot without Pinhead? I would argue no. 
I mean, he is the glue holding the band together. I don't know what's going on with them. I'm assuming they have a new drummer now. I know they have new Funko Pops. But other than that, I don't really know what's going on with them because when Pinhead left, I sort of left. I like mentally checked out when he checked out. So I wish them all the best. Read any good books. I haven't read a book in an embarrassingly long time. I used to love to read. So if you have any recommendations, you can let me know. Apple or Android, Apple. I like how it's compatible with like my computer, you know, everything's sort of connected. So that just makes life easy. Thank you for your questions. I think I'm done with you now. Hell Spartan Z, it's good to see you. First, how have you been? I've been. Like every day is sort of different. Some days I'm totally fine. Other days, I don't even want to get out of bed. Other days, everything's, you know, like I'm laughing, everything's great. Other days, I just cry for no reason. I cry all day long. <laughs> so today is, today's been okay. I mean, it's really it. It's only one in the afternoon, so there's time. There's still time for a breakdown, but so far I I'm all right. Secondly, did you go to any concerts while gone? I saw Tool and I went to the Sasanta tour. And finally, if I may ask, did you get your boyfriend into Slipknot or was he already a fan of... Hang on, gotta click the read more. A fan of them. My boyfriend liked Slipknot in high school, I think, but not so much now. It would be good to see you back. Thank you, I, my goal is to have this sort of ease back into making videos, that's my plan. Whether or not that will happen, I don't know, but that's, that's my plan. But it's good to be missed, thank you very much. Peter McDonald, 3119, please get back to making your videos, we miss you. Thank you for that, I'm trying, I hope to, I will be back. Arrow Pro 7558, are you happy? Uh. Like right now? Yeah. Like I mentioned in a previous question, it really just depends on the day. And some days it depends on the moment of the day. But generally speaking, um, yes. I'm going to say yes. Overall, yes. Things could be a lot worse, you know. That's probably not the best way to look at your life, but things could always be a lot worse. I mean, I have a lot to be thankful for, but it's just... It's hard to be happy when you lose your mom, you know? So, not to just bring that up again, but that's just the reality of the situation. It's hard to just be like, yep, <laughs> that's great. Everyone loves Majima. Majima? Everyone loves Majima. Is there anything you wouldn't consider? <laughs> Cue the clip, roll the clip. Is there anything you wouldn't consider doing on stage? <laughs> Gay sex. No gay sex for me. Wrong2912. Why is The Smiths your favorite band? And if it's not, then why isn't it? I really love this band. And the fact that, that I've been listening to them um, voluntarily in my absence, I think really says a lot. And it's only the songs I've done. So my playlist is not that long. But, but yeah, I need to do more R method. What's the R method? Do I want to know? Maybe not. Are there any bands you would like to listen to on the channel? What bands are these? Maybe um, Radiohead. Like I know a lot of their popular songs, all the commercial ones, uh, and maybe a few obscure ones. But I think Radiohead, that might be interesting to get into them. Maybe, that's a huge maybe. Because some of their stuff I really, really, really like. And then others, it's just a little bit, it's just a little, out there for me. I really like Tom York's voice a lot and I think um, it might be worth looking into. Again, it's a huge maybe. That might not ever happen. Just in closing, I would like to say again, thank you for 10K and thank you for not forgetting about me. That's very nice to not just be forgotten because like I mentioned, that was a concern of mine. Not really a concern, but I just thought, you know, I, it's been so long since I've posted anything, no, no one's going to even remember that I exist. You'll be seeing me again. I just don't know when. But hopefully soon. And again, soon equals in the next six months. <laughs> Thank you for your uh, sympathies. Empathies. Um, 
just thanks for for reaching out and checking on me in um, you know one of the hardest things I've ever gone through in my life whether it be on YouTube or reaching out on Instagram or wherever on buy me a coffee wherever I really appreciate that that's really it's really touching it's really humbling that these complete strangers um, you know care so thank you for caring it means a lot so coming to you soon soon uh, the Smiths stop me if you stop me if you think that you've heard this one before the long freaking title come on Morrissey um, also Trivium I can't remember what it's called um, it's just been too long typo negative netty tool um, schism and I can't remember the name of the what's the name of the song I'm putting it down here possibly bullet train to Iowa and hollow by uh, all-purpose cleaner if they're not too cringy they're probably pretty cringy so you might be seeing those as well and then new stuff I'm going to get back into the routine of the bands I'm always doing this has been the longest closing to any video ever I'm sure you've clicked away minutes ago so uh, to the three of you still watching thanks for watching leave your suggestions if there's stuff you want me to check out put it in the Google form and eventually I will see it. Thank you for your comments, your concern, your love. I, it's all just really overwhelming and super appreciated. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and uh, this video was to your liking. I hope it was a bright spot in your day. Sorry I cried. Till the next video, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you then.